So what we decided to do for Simons, again, we wanted to drive sales. What we decided to do was run a competition. So what we did is we come up with a competition in Facebook. What's going on there? There we go. There's a few examples of the ads, right? These were... Um, in Facebook using lead forms. Simon didn't have a website. We had a website, but it, wasn't, it didn't have the capabilities to do what we needed to do. So do you remember when we spoke about the lead gen objective, guys? Yes or no, guys? The lead gen objective, yeah? You don't need a website. The form pops up. That was the objective we used for the next part. So we didn't need a website. We were capturing them in Facebook, yeah? And the offer we come up with is a competition. We said all, this was only being shown to the people that engaged with the content, right? So we run a competition that said, um, if you want your chance to win, and again, we had loads of different variations of it, but most of them were like this. If you want a chance to win 30% off one of our filters, normally worth $200 or whatever, sign up for your chance to win. This was a competition that was offering a discount. So what are those people? Anyone that gives us their details, what are they saying to us? They want to buy. They're not saying they're interested. These guys want to buy. Because they're saying, yeah, I'll pay 70% of what it's worth. So they're all pretty much buyers in this campaign, yeah? And this worked tremendously well. I'll show you the results of the campaign in a minute. So this is what we did. We come up with it, yeah? Did loads of different images, videos as well in some cases. This button m makes a form pop up in Facebook. They give us their information, yeah? This is what it looks like. So we're going to capture the, uh, their details using Facebook lead form. No need for a website. This is an example of this one. This is what I mean by, uh, I can't remember, someone asked um, what, what I meant by pre-populated. This is what I mean. When I click on it, all of my information is already in there in Facebook, yeah? You with me, guys, yeah? Yeah, cool. So this is what we did on the, on the, on the lead form. Remember I said about the quality of lead? It's not as good quality, the lead, when, it, when you're using a, a lead form, all right? So we had to make sure that they were giving us their, um, their right information. And what we also thought, and this is what a really cool thing you can do with lead forms, you can actually add questions into lead forms. And they can't submit the form until they've answered a question. All right, you can have multiple choice questions. You can have yes or no questions. The point is, you're getting them to do more than just hit this blue button down here, which Im immediately makes the quality of the lead better. Raise your hands if you understand, please, yeah? Yeah, cool. So, this, one, this month, Renewal Water is running a competition. We are going to give away five of our top of the range, uh, super compact, uh, six days, blah, 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 which is 70% off. Enter your information below for your chance to win. The good thing about what Simon had, he had entry level products, which were a couple of hundred euros, but his lifetime value of customers was very high. He had two grand products that he could sell them. So, we knew we just needed to acquire the customer for as low as possible because he had other things that he could sell them, yeah? So the question we asked was, how do you most often drink your water? This lead is going to a salesperson. Simon had a sales guy. He's now got a lot because he couldn't handle the leads. At one point, Simon called me up and he said, Matt, you've got to slow down the campaign. <laughs> no joke. There was, the leads were coming in too fast and he only had one sales guy. He's now got six. Yeah? That's where you want to be, right? That's a good problem to have, put it that way. Too many leads. Too much money. Right? So we asked, this question's really good for his sales guy to know. Because a lot of the time, if the sales guy goes in and, he's, and he gears his presentation around um, tap water, and they say, well, I always drink bottled water, mate. Yeah? If we know before, and again, we changed this question as well, but for this example, he said, if we know before, my sales guy can go in immediately with the, with the right presentation. Yeah? Uh, we asked for first name, last name. You obviously always got to have that, an email, need that. Phone number, definitely. So this made the form a lot better because we were getting numbers. And then the second question we asked, this is another, another question, is what province they live. Because Simon is a physical product, he actually needs to go there to do it. He has engineers all over the place. He needs to know where they are. Yeah? Who keeps the personal data? Uh, not on Facebook lead forms, it's all, it's all dealt with by Facebook, and you've got to have your own privacy policy and your GDPR compliance, whatever, um, terms and conditions at the bottom here. But the data is yours. 
So you get the data. If you've got, which I'm sure most of you have, some sort of CRM, these can be connected straight up so they go in there. If you haven't, don't worry. It's kept in Facebook and you can view it there. All right? So we're going to capture the, the lead using Facebook lead form. Then we're going to call and close the leads. Simon didn't call them. Obviously, that's just a picture of him on the phone. That would be quite cool. <laughs> All right? So he had his sales guys then calling these leads the very next day, the same day to start with. <clears throat> yeah? Want to see the results? Yeah. So um, just a quick recap. Look at what you have. We looked at what he had. He had some images. He had some videos. We run them out on the engagement campaign. That was the plan we come up with. Um, run content to educate the market using the engagement objective on Facebook. Create a lead magnet to offer the people. We come up with a, 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 our lead magnet, which is a good lead magnet, to be fair, is a um, competition. They work really well especially in lead forms, and in Messenger as well. Our, the Me Messenger Madness product that I told you about earlier, um, that talks about a really good strategy that we actually use for the salons um, where, they, where they offer uh, competitions in Messenger. Really, really good. Because it's like, all you've got to do to enter this competition is send us a message on Facebook, you know? Okay? Uh, capture the lead using the Facebook lead form. No need for a website. So, the results... So far, anyway. Simon spent £8,604. This was, uh, when, did I, when did I do this slide? This was probably just before Christmas, I think. <clears throat> Again, Simon started out on the engagement objective £5 a day. He's up to about 150 quid a day now. Because again, because he's physical, it, it, he can't scale as hard as if it's like a digital product, right? Digital product, you can just go all day long, yeah? So, um, but he's getting up there. He's, he's, he's every, every, every day, he's training a, a sales guy. He's got one being trained. His sixth one's being trained now. Um, and I'm sure he'll take one on after that. And every time he does, he can scale a little bit more. Generated 2.9 million impressions, 810,000 video views. So that's 810,000 people, guys, that now know, at least on a subconscious level, that a company called Renewal Water exists. Yeah? That's powerful, right? Uh, generated 114,000 100% video views. We generated him 1,385 leads at £6.21 a lead. Now, digital products and digital downloads, that's expensive, right, if that's what it was. But don't forget, these people are saying they want to buy it. They're saying, I, I want to pay 30% of a, because I want 70% off. Then These are not people that are inquiring. They're actually saying they want to buy it, hence the price, right? We get um, digital download leads and digital leads for, uh, you know, under two quid, under a pound in some cases, yeah? But this is really, really high quality leads. And they closed very, very well. They were closing at least 50, I think it might have been 60% of these leads they were closing on the phone. He generated £81,634 in sales. Disclaimer, quickly. Results are not typical, obviously. He had my expert guidance. <laughs> All right? So, it's 948% ROI uh, on ad spend, yeah? Uh, I would say, again, I think I did this slide just before Christmas, um, and we started doing promoting stuff for him in June. So that's probably about seven months. Yeah? Seven months. <clears throat> 